I wanted to talk to those of you who are thinking of having orthodontic treatment. Um, most of you will find that your first visit, your orthodontist will measure your face and give you a diagnosis of what is wrong. They will also talk about the advantages and the disadvantages of having treatment. They will probably also get you to sign a document so that you um, are warned of any risks that may occur. And this is an important document and is part of the agreement between you and your orthodontist. However, risks are of various different types. And one of the most severe is the risk of the, to the roots of your teeth, which orthodontic treatment um, is quite routinely associated with. The actual length of the teeth tends to shorten during treatment to a varying extent. When I was a young man, um, I played a lot of tennis. Uh, one day my tennis partner came to me, an, an attractive young girl, and said, John, my front teeth feel a little bit loose. And I said, oh dear, we'd better have a look at them sometime. So shortly afterwards she came to my office and um, I took some x-rays and uh, I was horrified because her front teeth had shortened to the point that the roots were only about five or six millimetres long. This was why they were wobbly. And sadly, she lost three of her four front teeth before she was 30 years old. Now, to this young lady, indeed any young lady, this is a true disaster and it should never be allowed to occur. The actual research shows that, um, yes, roots are frequently damaged, but it does not show how much this will shorten the life of the teeth. In my opinion, most people who have fixed appliances, their teeth will be lost between five or ten years early. Now, that's only my opinion because there is no good research showing exactly how um, much orthodontic or indeed uh, the use of aligners such as Invisalign shortens the life of the teeth. And I think that we need, this is a severe um, aspect of orthodontics and research needs to start too. Now, there is another problem which is not talked about so much, but that's of facial damage. Now, in my opinion, about half patients' faces are damaged by the eye of fixed appliances or aligners. Now, it's often this is only very slight, but in about 20% of cases, it can be quite severe. And I get patients writing me very distressed letters about how the damage to their face has ruined their life. And some of them will go as far as suicide. Now, it is, again, an important thing to the patients to know the risk. But orthodontists are quite unable to tell you to what extent the face has been damaged because they really have not done any research on this particular subject. And in my opinion, I would not recommend either fixed appliances or Invisalign or other aligners to anyone until there has been adequate orthodontic research on the subject.